What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Spanish Empire. In this episode we have begun our landing against the 13 colonies and we are expanding Spanish influence in the Americas. And this force under Florencio Ayala, this brand spanking new force that is pretty unbloodied, um, has landed to take the city of Boston away from William Green and his mixed force of colonial troops and uh, indigenous irregulars. So let's crack on attack the city and bring it into the empire. So we've been very fortunate when we attacked the city that no, that, that the 13 colonies were allied with the, the French and the Austrians and we just had the perfect outcome in that the French maintained our alliance with us. They will likely steal some territory from the 13 colonies but there was a risk if we didn't call them in and the 13 colonies did potentially maybe that's how it works that they join the 13 colonies which we don't want to have a massive war with the french i'm happy with the limited gains in the americas just slowly incremental expansion so first of all we have some brand new cavalry units under the spanish conquistador so let's have a look at them they look pretty good they got similar model well they're probably the same model as the so the Swiss Pikes, you think they've got this kind of white sash and red, like... The, this would be like an, uh, an undershirt, whatever they've got on. Yeah, okay, so they're like mounted versions of Swiss Pikes. Still, they're good looking cavalry and they do have... They have a, 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 a firepower capability that is, e that is equal in range, I think, to regular infantry. And I think they're actually a, they're more accurate. So that's an interesting thing to be aware of for these guys. We can use these to actually shoot at cavalry prior to the charge. Let's keep them there. Let's keep our SARS on the right. So we've also got the 9th Foot Guard, the Ast Asturias Regiment. Looking splendid in white and blue with yellow facings. They look pretty good. We've also got our our um, Granaderos de Marina which look pretty sweet and we've also got the 10th foot guards okay they're hidden there so let's drag them out there we go yep they look like a pretty cool looking unit and we're going to bring them to the war so we're going to have our pikes are going to go into the breach followed up by two units of infantry we're going to have a infantry unit plus two units of grenadiers pushing the left. We're going to have an infantry unit, our royal guards, and a Asturias regiment pushing the right. General in the center. Let's make sure our... There we go. Let's make sure we've got some hussars on the right as well. Okay, quick climbing or carcass shotting howitzers. Drop in the center. Oh, I might have. Yeah, I did it. Oh no, there we go. Because, yeah. <laughs> you, you saw that you could see them for a split second at the start of the map. That's where lots of their, their um, indigenous forces were deployed. So let's move up our invasion troops. My 12 pounders. Hold on. Yeah, so there's lots of. I've got my window open, there's birds chattering outside, and I think it's lovely. So I just wanted to quickly check that you guys weren't hearing it, because I quite like hearing it in the background. But you guys should be. Yeah, they're tr also trying to shoot inside. Shoot inside the city, which is not what I want. More quick climb coming in, more native troops falling for our artillery fire. Let's advance the cavalry up as well. Okay, let's t get some of these troops up on this section of the wall because we're not going to be breaching here. But one of them could secure this gatehouse and our hussars are going to be positioned ready to respond
Now, uh, pikes are going to march up. So we might get some damage here. These guys are likely to suffer some damage. So let's just try and climb the walls. So much so, do we actually direct our howitzers to fire a volley onto this section of the wall? Risky. But if they stay mobile like they're currently doing, we'll be we'll be getting up onto the uh, getting up onto the wall in no time at all. I mean, my pikes they're going to be running because it only it won't be long till the wall is breached. So you guys might actually focus on the wall, or that might be we're in a halfway house. I switched to round shot in time, you know, just before they fired, but I didn't switch the order. There we go, we're taking the wall. So this Royal Spanish Guard take the gate. This regiment of line is going to be ready to fight off the militia when they get here. We are now Scrapping. Let's bring my cavalry up ready, because if the wall if the wall is breached as it stands, there's uh, no one stopping us. So let's get my grenadiers to also help fight, because they're mostly native bowmen, so they shouldn't give us they shouldn't provide too much resistance yet. There's the native uh, Native Warrior Auxiliary. Let's get this unit to come over here. If the Royal Guards, all I want to do is make them tag the... tag the gate to make it ours, then my Hussars can get in. Then they can come back and fight the native warrior auxiliary. There we go. Massars get in. You men fight, you men fight. This militia unit is on the way. Get my heavy cavalry in there. Get my infantry in here. And yeah, the native bowman auxiliary unit unfortunately is not standing against uh, three units of... Oh no, there's a couple more units than that. You men charge the native bowman auxiliary. You guys charge on into the colonial light cavalry. Let's get, get us some hussars to charge. Get these hussars to charge into the center considering their light cavalry is charging over there for some reason. So my heavy cavalry has gone straight in. Hey, you guys are countering their cavalry. Pikemen will be here in due course. You fight the general's bodyguard. You fight. You kill that last cannon. The general has been killed. Okay, let's get... My conquistadors over to fight the native warrior auxiliary. To get my pikes to face off against their cavalry if they want to be silly. You men both fight the native warrior auxiliary. They won't be around for very long. Obviously we're squaring off with a couple of units here. They can't make up their mind if they want to stick around or not. That's right, the pikemen chase down the colonials. Let's get my conquistadors out of there. My pikemen will make quick work of this colonial light cavalry. There you go, you guys charge in the back of the native warrior auxiliary. Because there's only one member of the general staff. 
You, can, you guys hold the central square, and this rear charge could be the end of this garrison. It's the biggest concentration of enemy power. These two units are going to get off the walls. Actually, you might charge that unit. Let's get this regiment off the walls here. Pikes have been killed. No, the pikes have killed their cavalry. Let's get some of these regiments off the walls. So my infantry unit's beating the militia. Let's get my pikes around the rear to charge their infantry. Oh, chug in. I think it's... Sometimes it's because of stuff like this when they, they kind of get caught on the breach. So let's get these conquistadors out because they are in poor shape. That's usually what the cause is. So if I pull the Swiss pike unit out, it should make it better. And there we go. By the native war auxiliary. Fight to the last man. The conquistadors are out. Well, most of them are. That unit's not going to do anything. A couple of these units are broken, but the timer has been drawn down. Yeah, that's probably not helping. Units but clipped into the wall there. But there we go. Boston is secured for the greater Spanish Empire. Excellent. So now it's going to be on to New York once we have repaired our base here. Repaired and replenished. And then we can advance. It's going to take another turn of spending to secure it. So France is our ally. You're replenishing as well. But yes, ideally we can, we will push down and take Philadelphia. Well, Philadelphia and Boston, they're the two big cities. They're the two territories I would like. So if I can get both these armies up together, siege and take Albany and Pennsylvania, I'm okay if they mop up Annapolis and Virginia. I'd like them, but if they if France gets to them first, that's okay. Then over in Europe, obviously in the Balkans, I have a very strong position. I've got a defensive line facing down a few of the obvious areas of attack. And I've also got this force under Marcio Campos, who is recruiting men from Athens. So this is all these guys are already going to march up to join forces, which is great. We are at war with the Ottomans again, so we've got a force here to block um, Ashlehan Mehmet. So this force is going to just hold ground. We're not going to go on the offensive. We're building up more troops in Ankara. Um, actually, because the, the initial rush has been resisted. Well, these guys aren't going to be able to push onto the city. I might actually pick up Curacier unit to make this army a bit more general purpose. Um, one thing I am looking at is this army here that's in Madrid that's currently being recruited with quite elite troops. I might actually land and invade the Mamelukes. As much as I like them, I like the fact that they existed. They currently have no allies. And they, Cairo would be quite a simple territory to take and it has they have a lot of towns which make Cairo quite a wealthy region, and also it would provide a useful stepping stone to take Jerusalem. So no immediate technologies to be worried about happening. I am pleased with what's going on in Europe at the moment. See, this force is standing on the bridge in case Austria gets up to no good, but there's a risk that even then I still run out of, run out of ammo if we fight Austria. We've got all these troops coming. So I might have still have to do some gentle expansion here in Italy as well. And Naples is already up to more than up to nearly eleven thousand. So let's check my regions. So this is in terms of okay, yeah. So the number is in terms of seventeen thousand six hundred six is the tr is the ultimate the region wealth, not how much I'm taxed. You have to, it doesn't show you the tax income, but you can work it out. 
well, not working out, but there was a time when Madrid was more taxed than London. So even though London was higher, the tax rate meant Madrid was actually earning me more money. Um, but no, everywhere's getting... Starting to get some lovely, lovely wealth growth. Um, but don't have anything to do at the moment, so let's hit end turn. Let's keep my agent marching up the coast and all my other various troops and whatnot. But I'm quite happy with my current um, drumbeat of giving the enemy a a big blow. <laughs> well, that sounds wrong. Dealing my enemy a big blow and then saying, no, we've hit our target. Now let's make peace and we kind of edge our front line up a bit. So it looks like the French are going to take Genoa, which is fine. It'll knock Genoa out of the game. Um, I'm in a strong position in the Balkans, but I would prefer the Austrians ignore me. If they want to push against the French, they are more than welcome to. I just don't want them... I want to delay war with Austria for as long as possible, at least until I'm... a bit more stable. Especially once I've, once I've researched the abolition of slavery, because then that means I can get rid of lots of the garrison in Madrid, and I can probably get rid of the garrison... Well, most of the garrison in Tripoli free up a bit of extra wealth there. Yeah, so they're not going to make it to the capital. Because I ran my army in such a position that their zone of control would be too much. Although it's interesting that the 13 colonies are withdrawing. Very interesting that they're withdrawing. So you can, yeah, you're going to infiltrate Vienna. We've got some new towns. Tatooine, you can have a craft workshop. New Haven. Oh, that's what a, what a, what a time to jump on it. Let's upgrade you to a church school. So then when this is destroyed, it can be replaced with a, um, an industry building. We've got a couple more things to repair, including a lovely, delicious trading port. So can Diego de Cordoba leave Maine? They can, because I want him to march straight on to Albany, just in case the French have any ideas about getting up to any shenanigans. Can you guys leave Boston? You can. We're going to boost our military production here. You guys are going to replenish. You can get to... Okay, I don't want to push too far. We want to see where I want to bring these this army into the fight. I can push on to Philadelphia, but if I push on, they will just run over this bridge behind my lines. So I want to secure this bridge, replenish this army. And I should actually. So I can recruit Hessian line here. Spanish Free Company of Catalonia. I'm not so sure about recruiting that as Spain. 120. So these are... It's pretty cool, though. <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah, we are, we are going to recruit them because variety is fun. Let's recruit some Hessian line here in Boston. Upgrade its clearances here. Let's hop back to Europe. So... Tripoli, you're okay now. Your positive 18 garrison is providing 7. So we can get rid of most of your garrison there. Good. Tunis can expand. Ooh, oh yeah, I forgot about this agent. Slowly turning them Protestant. And the religious unrest is already bad. So I'm going to build a church school just to offset this guy. Being up to no good. Okay, so construction. Commercial Basin. Thessaloniki. Bosnia's still got more upgrades. Let's upgrade that. Let's upgrade the port. Don't need to worry about the Bordy House. Let's upgrade some of these industry buildings. Because industry buildings make the world go round. You men push up to Marcio Campos. There's another detachment of line infantry. Don't want to upgrade you to a that to a um, top tier port just yet. So you're recruiting two more elite units of line infantry. Let's get you some 
artillery, but sadly we cannot get you 24 pounder heavy horse artillery. Not because I don't have any money, it's probably because there's no... Yeah, I'm not graded you to the top tier. Military buildings, let's do that. Okay, so let's, ac let's accept that there's going to be a bit of a delay. Let's get a unit of melee infantry. Let's get two units of lines. I don't want to fill them up with all of my elite, elite cool units. Let's get two units of guerrillas and let's get a Spanish Lusitania Regiment of Dragoons. Because yeah, Madrid itself is... Oh, I've been doing this in the wrong place. I meant to do it here. Oh well. It's got the Dragoons to go with these two Conquistador units. I can manually move them over. It's not a big deal. Could upgrade this port in Belfast. Could upgrade the theatre to a Pleasure Gardens. Well, I think the best thing to do is go back to here. Okay, so I've now got a good army under Carlitos Quiroga. Can you recruit some slightly more interesting troops? No, we've all we've maxed out on them all already. So Matias, you can stay where you are, but you can call up. Yeah, I can get three four pounders in Ankara. Fusiliers. You can call up some 12 pound harts and 12 pound a foot because this army here, the Carlitos, is going to go and attack this force here under the Ottomans. And we can. That's another. I really don't like the direction we attack them from. They might route this direction. Well, too late. Let's attack them because we want to push out. You know, the, the Ottomans have have done the dishonourable thing and they have attacked us. So we are going to claim, I at least want to claim, well, Cairo from the Mamelukes, Jerusalem and Damascus. That will be our, those are our next three targets. They can have Baghdad, they can have Yerevan, they can stay as a minor power to the east. I mean, they won't stay that way, but... I'm trying to maintain this idea of having limited or proper, like, actual um, war targets. That would be where I draw the line. So let's... Okay, so we've got a slightly, slightly less numerous force. Well, well, no. It's a quarry or, a quarry or something, I would suppose that is. Let's dish our cavalry up. We've got camels. We've got camels arrayed against us, but that's not so bad. Oh yeah, we're getting reinforcements from the the home army. Although, oh good, they're not coming in via the quarry. Well, you men can fall back. We have no need for your. We have no need of your general command. Good. Here come the camels. That's what I want. They're infantry. Oh, I brought colonial militia. Let's do it. Adds a bit of flavour. You can engage their camel nomads. You guys can. Oh, I didn't get that. Didn't get them selected at the time, but you guys can canister shot the Mamelukes because it looks like that's where they're going to. into square. Okay, they've taken too long to reload. Round shot, the desert warriors. I don't want them to do too much friendly fire. I've got my camels back. I got my cavalry back here, but I'm not interested in counter charging. Well, I kept my squares. They just need to hold, which they will. Be a bit of friendly fire. 
What was the square? Okay, the square broke. So to push my cavalry up on the blank there. Okay, so that is a... Yeah, their mobile element has been broken. You guys rush up there. Janissaries on the flank. Desert warriors there. Some of their mounted elements are returning. Desert warriors are being engaged. General's been killed. These Feline musketeers are more than welcome to uh, try and engage us in a line battle. I want to let my troops here um, shoot the bejesus out of these Janissaries. They do have colonial militia here, so there is a bit of a danger. Okay, so let's stretch these guys out to here, ahead of the guns. These two units around behind behind this building here. What is that building? That's well, Union of Arches right there. It's a warehouse. So then you guys, let's march them up to get over the terrain feature. Get my cavalry on the go. Let's get my general out here as well. Yeah, you're the last unit alive. Oh, and their artillery. How could I forget? Unless they've got some units that are hidden, which is incredibly likely. Yeah, the gunners have blasted down a line of my hussars. Some Semini have returned, some camel nomads have returned, so get my artillery to engage the camel nomads. We're going to want some infantry to continue to drive forward. Because yeah, you're going to get countercharged counter by the camels, and I don't want that. You guys charge the Semini. Okay, so you've got some, some more Semini and some Armenian archers still alive. Pats form square. So just probably run to the back of them for now. You can also fight with Janissaries. You keep fighting off the archers. You keep fighting the Semini. You charge the Bashis. Run my infantry up as bait to draw the camels into the, the action against someone. Those just charge the archers. You guys get over here. Hey, it worked. Okay, you guys chase down the Armenian archers. Let's get my general involved. You got nothing on my square. You're gonna bat up against it and be repulsed. No, oh, no, don't look at my cavalry. They're harmless. Get my cavalry behind the square. guys halt fire will off 
what I want is for these guys to be repelled, and then my cavalry can chase them down. My artillery stop firing because they're friendly firing each other. This team's taken some losses, and they're cannon destroyed. There we go, you guys now. No, don't attack, just chase them down. Yeah, we're going to continue. And then it's just a case of keep everyone busy. Okay, let's get them both to work on this unit of Berlin Musketeers. Because it looks like, because they're all stretched out. Pathfinding is going to be a bit funky, so let's just keep those guys together for now. Okay, the camels have retreated. The last Semini unit's gone. Everyone converge against this handful of archers, but there's only two of them left. Delete. Damn right. So soon we're going to have two good armies here in the Middle East. Oh good, they did retreat the correct... Well, it's a frustrating direction to retreat. Because the first thing they're going to do is raid my ports. So let's get my galley out of there. Ooh, you can actually just chase them down. So I'm going to auto that. Hopefully causing them to be destroyed. Oh, if nothing else, we're right on their tail. Does mean I probably want to cancel the, that recruitment because I don't want them to go this way around and get caught out by their camels. We do want to keep recruiting... Your horse guard artillery. You can join Carlitos. Actually, no, you're not supposed to. You're going to be supposed to join Matias. I need to get uh, an army staff college recruited here, really. But I do... But yeah, this this is the thing, is my recruitment... My unit variety here in... In um, Spain is just so big. It's like I'm recruiting... Bunch of infantry, took well, 10 units worth. I got a bunch of cavalry and all my elite infantry. So I've got recruited 13 units in effect. So from my recruitment path, let's stick with 12 pounders. 12 pounders are still good. Still good artillery. So the reason why it's giving me options to recruit that stuff is because they are technically possible to recruit, but I just can't get them here. I could probably do with turning this army in London into a bit more of an actual fighting force, but I don't really need it for now. I might do in the eventual war against Austria, but I think we're, but we are best served keeping our production going in the Balkans and making sure everyone's got their... Uh, Infrastructure up to snuff. Let's upgrade this, this church school. Okay. One more turn till we've got punch card loom. Which gives access, gives us access to power loom, which gives us big bonuses to town wealth. But I might get them to carry on down the infantry research track. Get light infantry doctrine, which gets us a load of cool stuff. This is the thing with the mages in this game is... With the, with the um, additional units mod, you just get so many, so much uh, variety. Sweet. Um, but, until then, turn. Let's allow our agents to push up to the front line to begin converting the Balkans to be good Catholics. Keep building the army in Spain. Keep generating more troops in Ankara to push against the Ottomans. I'm not interested in the ones against the border with Russia. I do not want... I'm not bothered about those at all. Although, it might be advantageous to take Georgia, because it does mean it starts to narrow down my uh, the actual vectors of attack 
for the for the uh, Russians later on. It means I can channel them into a few killing zones. No! I'm going to decline the attack because I don't want the French to get it. <laughs> you fools! I'm going to do it again. Duck! Nuts! I had no movement points to get it. I couldn't fight it because if I fought it, I wouldn't have. Uh, I wouldn't have got it. I, I what? I, if I fought it, I'd have lost troops just for just for France to get it anyway because they were pressing the attack. Mm. Don't worry, France. Your days are numbered. You see the growth of Spain. You know what's going to happen. I thought the Ottomans might want to rescue their rescue their, their troops yeah then they're all going to come over here and steal my technology the swines yeah you can raid i'm okay with you raiding it's just when you uh steal my stuff i don't like Here comes Persia. Fortunately, we're on good terms with Persia, so they shouldn't do too much in the way of causing us pain. Right. Obviously, it's been a raid, but we can march in and destroy that army. We can repair the port. We can replenish this army, bring them back somewhere useful. We can take our galley out of here garrison sinop wants more you just auto resolve that army for darren sure so kalitos your army's in pretty good shape i might pinch all of this yep you're in good shape so you're going to push through this valley You've got your... Yeah, I don't really want a colonial militia now. Let's get them back to Ankara. But I do want this artillery here. So I don't want the set of guns. I want the howitzers. Okay. Port blockaded. It's just a... Yeah. That's just a toys out of the pram move. Should probably dump a whole bunch of money on Cuba. Let's upgrade their resource production, including... You guys don't even have double roads. Upgrade the ports, upgrade the... Upgrade our resource production. Well, actually, let's not upgrade it in lieu of... Ports are a good longer-term upgrade, I think. I do want to bear in mind that I need... Walloon infantry are on the way. So where are you getting... Oh, you're getting your artillery from Morocco. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, you're not going to be doing too much because we keep getting these Mughal stacks trying to take us out. So we'll buff you a little bit with extra troops, but you're you're going to be our home defence guy. More troops up to the front. So if you get that unit of line infantry guards, you probably need more stuff now, right? Oh god, that's going to be a very elite army. Oh, I guess some howitzers, then get some... I want Swiss guards. I want Swiss line infantry. Because we can get a bit more. Yeah. Get some Swiss line recruit. I'll make it full. There we go. Then that'll be that army done. You've got 10 units. You've got 10 units in recruitment. Over four turns. Bada bing, bada boom. Right. So Istanbul. So they're still coming around to us. But I can now tax them. 
I've got my Eastern European squadron. I might just go take them to go mop up that last Ottoman fleet and then put Batumi under blockade. Ooh. Took out all our fifth rates. Very well, I get a message. We need more fourths. Replenish. So we've got one army that's well, Kalitos. What he's gonna he's gonna push down towards Damascus. We've still got this army up here that's recruiting. So he's directly recruiting on the howitzer, but also in Spain itself, we do have more stuff being recruited. Let's upgrade the ordnance factory in Lisbon. We go Hessian line infantry up here. So what we do want to do, because we know the French have been annoying. Oh, the French took Philadelphia as well. Ugh. Damn them. Damn their hides. Very well. Let's take the sloop. Oh, I can just... I can run through. See if we can demand the surrender of Annapolis. And I also want to take... Ooh, are you going to rebel? Yes, please. I'm going to wait here. Within counter-invasion range. Pennsylvania is going to hold on, I suspect. So we are going to slowly want to creep up more troops here in the Americas. No wonder they were so keen to, to help me out. Arg. Well, let's go wipe out the garrison at Annapolis. Uh, Annapolis might end up, down the line, might end up proving itself to be a bit more of a liability than a, uh, a gain. But still, I'd rather have it and be earning tax income from it than the French have it. We may lose it during the war because we will want to focus our efforts around Boston. Boston. But we're going to have to accept that we may lose some territories. So the howitzers are going to be ready to open fire. Our guns are going to be on this high ground on the left flank, firing at an angle. All of my infantry is pretty depleted. Our pikes are in good shape. My, uh, my carabiner are also in pretty good shape. Not my carabiner. I call them carabiner because I've got uh, they've got ranged attacks, but they are my Conquistadors. Yeah, all of you. All of you guys run. Yeah, lots of howitzer shots going off, but I want... I would like my howitzers to focus on the... Focus on the, uh, the troops behind them, because most of these chaps. Yeah, here come the French. You swines. And there's more French coming in on their flank. Enemy general has been killed from artillery fire. Engage. Engage. <laughs> yeah. I don't think there is any way for that to go particularly well for them. So my infantry are going to are going to shoot that mortar team. Yeah, now the mortar team is down. Just uh, peace out. We're going to continue 
So I want to get my general some experience. So my general currently has zero chevrons. He ought to have some some blood on his spurs. So the the uh, alliance with France is showing its its merits, but you know they're helping me take territory that I would have taken regardless. So used to fighting the French, I right click their flag right there. There we go. My general got his chevron. And you guys go help him out. This other unit. The French aren't interested. Yeah, so we took Annapolis. Annapolis is ours. Let's replenish. Virginia's right there. So this is a bit of a defensive pocket. Um, but it will mean we want to keep a, a good force here at Boston, because Boston's the one to have. Boston's the one that's got the more towns and is the most useful. So Cambridge, you've hopped on to Power Loom. No, go on to Advanced Irrigation, because again, you are a classical university and you're going to start to struggle with late game tech. So you may as well start to focus on filling the gaps on things we don't really want to research. Salamanca's one turn away from researching the uh, abolition of slavery, which will be very useful. Because it means we can also knock down the garrison at Madrid. Hopefully, they won't be quite so frumpy. Here's another French army. Full stack, led. Preceded by a fleet. Hmm. Might be beneficial to to uh, revisit my naval production. So I've got that home, that massive fleet protecting Gibraltar. I've got a fleet that's that is you know semi finished in. Portsmouth. We've got the, the dregs of an Eastern Squadron. Ah, they're going to get Williamsburg, aren't they? I'm not going to help them out. Hopefully they win. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. No wonder the French stayed my allies. I don't like their sailing an army towards one of my colonies, though. If they turn on me, if this is when they decide, you know what? You've taken the American... you freed up the American colonies for us. But now this is it. But the Austrians might clear them out. Because they've, they've, they've dominated... Oh yeah. Austria is on the march, France. You might have taken us out in the, in the Americas. But Austria's coming after you. If they want to get up to shenanigans with me, then they're more than welcome. We will take them on as well. Oh, go on! Do you know it's right there? You're going to blockade our port? Like an annoying... Yeah. It doesn't really matter because we've got our other ports we can trade from. So it's not as devastating as it used to as it used to have been. We do have Bilbao to the north. So some of our trade is still coming in. Just not as much. Russia's up to no good. <laughs> the game started to chug a bit. Oh, the Persians are after them. See, this is what happens. They share a tiny border. And that's it. You know, it's full-blown war. They're sinking each other off the coast of France. Don't worry, New Spain. When France declares on us, I fully expect your support. Oh, they've done it again. 
And like, I'm not even going to fight those battles. That's just frustrating that they just march one army up and just go, ooh. 13 colonies have been destroyed, but we've abolished slavery. So have your colonies. Just You're not going to have anyone working in them. So you gone on to secular humanism? Nope. Classical economics. That's the one for you. Very, very good game economic tech. So you blockaded our port, and you can see it did actually do um, some annoying stuff. So it did actually blot our economy for a while. Return. Just... Trouble is, if you put them in Oran, they can still blockade it, so there's nowhere safe to put them. If you put them inside the port itself, they can still blockade it. We have to actually have be sat outside. So let's repair the fleet. So let's go back over to my, my eastern Mediterranean squadron. Need to churn out some more ships. You're getting two fourth rates. You can recruit fourth rates. Sapaki can recruit fourths. Okay, let's get some fourths out of Heracleon. I oh, know, that's not the right port upgrade. You must be right. Uh, you can recruit them in singlets, alright. Let's get uh, to here at Safaki. Because we want to start blockading their their coast now. If they want to get up to shenanigans, then they're going to pee. Yeah, you guys don't need the foot artillery, but you can use the howitzers. And then you guys want cavalry. You can get some Royal Curacier Guard, and you can get a Regiment of Horse. You're going to push on and just auto this individual guy. It's a raw Mamluk guard. Stabby stab. Here we are. I'm in your territory now. What are you going to do? So I've broken that port. I, want, I do want to push on to Damascus. Okay, good upgrades. Farm upgrades. Let's upgrade you. This is annoying. Um, so, France. We're going to offer Maryland. And I'm going to demand Acadia. Damn. Annapolis is, well... You can you can develop as much as you can, but I'm afraid you're gonna have to develop on your own. Cause we need well, we are boxed in by the French here. So we do want to have control over this little bit of little bit of land that we actually do have. I don't want to be the one that breaks the alliance. If it's gonna happen, I want them to do it. So, uh, you guys, because you guys couldn't reach. So we've got some raw halberdier guard, more infantry to join. Dito. It's now they're plus seven. So we could actually stand to, at the very least, cut down most of our garrison. So they're still plus three, but we've got a boarding house we could upgrade. You can still recruit one more unit of stuff. So we've got a unit of howitzers coming up. Maybe a third unit of howitzers, and then probably two line infantry would be what we want. We don't want too much good stuff in one army. Because then that makes all the others really quite lame well no not colonial light just light because you can't combine colonial line and line together despite having the same unit card there we go so in one turn this army will be done they can sail on 
and it sadly hit the Mamelukes in one turn. Because they have no allies. So it's hit in turn. So pushing up. That's right, France. You got stuff. I mean, that might be part. That might be a goal to have with the army at London is to treat it like a a gun to the head of Paris, being like, if you the second they declare on me, I'm landing an army to bring war to Paris. But that army there, are, are next to my territory. I mean, could this be the ultimate? No, you in that I'm at war with France, and I'm suddenly going, all right, I've got this big border with Austria ready to, ready to go to war, but uh, they're not the ones that are being aggressive. I mean, Rome is would definitely fall in the face of that Austrian assault. Do I want to intercept? Hell yeah, I want to intercept. Let's slaughter them. Slaughter them in front of our cannons. Yeah, next turn our army is going to be complete, but it'll take a turn to get to the docks and embark. But then the turn after that, we will strike, bring the hammer down onto the Mamelukes, and use that as our okay. use that as our bargaining chip to negotiate peace. Well, not a bargaining chip per se, but use that as our as a way to get another peace with the Ottomans, because, I mean, they've shown they cannot be trusted. So we will punish them by taking more of their land. That is the way of things. If they don't want me to take their stuff, they should stop, de stop declaring war on me. Camels, eh? So one of you, so one of you quite rightly said, "Why don't I just control A?" And is, oh, I didn't even know that was a thing. I was staggered. I didn't know that I could just control A. So these two units hold ground. Get to the camel nomads. You three. Yeah, you can try and throw us off if you want. Yeah, cavalry. Oh, Curiosier. Yes, please. You'll have a go. My hussars and light hussars straight. Go straight through. Swing my cavalry down. No, Sars, ignore the fight. See, they want to fight the uh, the Hussars. Because they know that's the squishy target, but I have to keep counter you know, you know countering that command with my with my own cavalry. Gang up on the raw Mameluke guards because they, even though they are light infantry, they are sturdy. So let's bring my general up to knock out their guns. They're shattered. So you guys can chase down the Azar. But Janissaries coming up, so you men be ready to meet that. Bashi Bazooks in which isn't great bring my infantry up because this is going to start to become a yeah mamalu guards that they're no slouches they say light cavalry but they aren't weak like light cavalry is so let's bring you guys into bear against the bashi bazooks You guys charge into the flank of the Janissaries, push you guys up to engage those camels. Ah no, run away! 
way, avoid! Avoid, avoid, avoid! Well, they are wavering. Yes, and they're broken. You guys are all, have all ganged up on the Bashies. They should win, fundamentally. You guys might charge the Janissaries in the rear there. You're enough to chase down the Nomads. Let's bring my General back into the mix. Bring my Curassier over here to fight the Israeli. Another unit to charge into the Janissaries. They're completely surrounded now, so they may be brave. But bravery is not enough in the modern on the modern battlefield. Bring you guys back here. Mamluk guards are doing well. Stop the artillery from firing. So my cavalry is just going to run straight on through and go, okay, Janissaries. I don't like Janissaries. Mamluk guards are going to break with only 80 casualties. All of you focus on the Israeli. You guys focus on the Bashi Bazooks. There you go. The Israeli won't like won't like this solution they've been this situation they've been put into, considering they're just surrounded by colonial troops. There we go. Continue. So my Curassier, everyone except my Curassier just don't get involved. You guys try take out that Azar unit. Kill the Janissaries. You guys kill the Bashi Bazooks. Good, they've been knocked out. You guys fight the Azar. You guys should be more than enough to knock out these Janissaries. Yes! So that's cleared out another army. I'm curious to see how many men they have towards Damascus, or does that build make up most of their uh, most of their garrison? So as you can see, they are still going to keep raiding around the edge of my territory with troops from Baghdad, and that's understandable. You've got to expect that kind of thing. So I am going to try and build some smaller armies <laughs> the russians are not they're still going to chase down the persians so we need to build up some smaller stacks just to do a bit of counter counter raiding action i forgot completely about that mughal army on the coast so I'd be curious to see i'm curious to see if they decide to do anything because if not they're just going to sit there like they've done so many times in the past they may end up pushing on the city of Morocco. If they do, good on them. So the navy sailed away. The army's gone now. I'm defensive mode. Fine. So Batman got raided. You guys can push up. Hit him. It's just one unit of Hillman. So you guys can hold position on this road leading to Baghdad. Oh, did you know you already recruited a cavalry unit? Yeah, it's coming from Istanbul. Let's recruit some more infantry. You guys are replenishing. So, how does the situation look at Damascus? Pretty, they're pretty miserable. We're going to put them under siege though because we are depleted. 
send our ships to have a look at... Okay, sail all the way around. To have a look at Jerusalem. Small garrison. New town emerges. Santiago de la Cab Caballeros. If that's even how it's pronounced, it probably isn't. I don't really want to upgrade that yet. Sarajevo, here you go, you're fortified. Pushing up troops to Martial near Belgrade. Let's upgrade a couple more industry buildings. Might have to start knocking some of these ports out, because that's all we're starting. That's the level we're getting to now. Um, okay. So you guys... Short of one unit of artillery. Let's get you over to Cartagena. You guys are going to be ready to march on... Um, march on uh, Pyro. Forgot for a minute there. Okay, we can get some good ships here. So let's try get... Let's get some more third rates. I really outgunned anything the French have. Let's also take this army, get rid of the militia. Okay, you guys need a great arsenal to build some uh, howitzers. Okay, let's get two units of Swiss line over here to Morocco. Send this army down to go auto resolve. Is it auto? Well, it depends. Actually, looking at the timer, it's probably time to end the episode, and we we will actually fight it. But as it gets down here, we'll start auto resolving. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time where we're going to destroy the next Mughal force to land on Morocco. Cheers, everyone.